hi if you're new to the channel which i'm sure none of you are i'm harry i'm gonna film like a day in the life kind of thing i'm a master's psychology student which is a bit of a meme considering my undergrad was in business uh, i'm pretty sure i've only got one lecture today which is going to be neuroscience and perception following that i'll go to the gym i'll train I'll do things in regards to like what I'm training for. I guess it'd be like bodybuilding purposes at this stage. The goal is to basically get as large as possible, hopefully without dying early. We'll see. So I'll take you through going to uni. I'll take you through training. I'll take you through food as well. Probably like my meals because obviously eat food to grow. Hopefully I'm basically stealing the idea of tuning because he's my boy. He just doesn't know it yet. I'm going to get ready, shower, go to uni, and then I'll probably film at uni potentially. Definitely when I'm back. But we'll see. Freezing, which is really the way that we quantify um, threat behaviour uh, towards a stimulus. So I've been to uni, uh, not for long. Uh, today's my shortest day, which is pretty convenient considering it's a Monday morning. It's currently 25 past 10. I just got back and I haven't actually eaten today. When I've got uni quite early in the morning, I don't tend to eat beforehand, mainly because first of all, I'm trying to sleep. Uh, so I also have no appetite when I wake up, so I would get up like half seven to get to uni for nine, and until about half nine, I've got no appetite, because it takes me a good like hour and a half, two hours to like, actually start feeling hungry when I wake up. So macro-wise for the day, because it's a training day, uh, so day one of the week, so I believe, yeah, it's back and biceps. I'm on 220 protein, 650 carb, and 90 fat which is pretty dead considering I've got a pretty poor appetite. So as a whole, for my first meal, I tend to keep it quite simple. I make like a smoothie and have some eggs with it. So I have like 300 milliliters of pineapple juice alongside a pear, a banana, an apple, a portion of blueberries, a portion of raspberries and spinach. All obviously blend together. Yeah, I'm really bad at cutting things. So I absolutely butcher them when I do. I think throughout, like, because obviously I'm doing like a full day in the life of a master's student, master's student bodybuilder for the clickbait title, even though it's kind of true, no, I'm not competitive yet, maybe. Maybe if I include one of the dogs, it may increase views or the likelihood of people actually sticking around and watching. So this is one of my dogs. He looks sad all the time, but I don't think he's actually that sad. Oh, well, apparently he is. <laughs> yes, boys. Probably not safe. Well, oh, that's going to overflow. Oh, that's going to overflow. Oh, we're close. Well, that's pretty full. So that's over, just over 700 grams. Alongside this, I usually have three eggs as well. To be frank, I don't actually like eggs that much at all. And by at all, I mean I tolerate them at best. I really don't rate them. I also hate the feel of eggs. Ugh, it makes me feel sick. Blech. So I have this meal one at like half 10, and then meal two will probably come at like one o'clock, which will be my pre-workout meal because I get to the gym about two-ish, and then get a sick pump, maybe, probably not, we'll see. So I'll whisk it, okay, whisk it, mix on camera. Make it look like I'm more sophisticated and low-key culinary genius, even though my forearm is cramping and I've got the worst pump or best just from mixing some eggs and I'm slowing down rapidly. That's tough. So probably the deadest meal you ever see, but Bon Apple Teat. Because I've got some time before I actually need to train, I'm gonna do some programming work and then some uni work. So for every lecture we have at uni, on top of assignments like exams and essays and whatnot we have to do weekly exams so for every lecture we have we'll have one exam they're nothing too complicated they're just a bit annoying but we have to get them done anyway so i'll probably do some of those so i've eaten that uh it's a bit later than i thought it was gonna be it's half one now and i need to go to the gym because i'll work later but we'll get to that so while i'm preparing my next meal it which is gonna be painfully boring I'm going to prepare my intra workout drink. So, my intra workout carbohydrate drink, which is basically this. So, it's 100 grams of the kind of 50 50 mix that bulk powders do, which is maltodextrin and dextrose. So, basically, it's 100 grams of carbs I can yam during a workout without feeling too sick, which is pretty convenient. And just because my carb intake is quite high at the moment, it makes sense to try and get additional carbs in whenever I can, especially on the training days. Obviously, on rest days, the carb intake is lower, I think it's at 500. So it's a bit more manageable. I feel like Heisenberg. Top tip, if you're yamming into workout carbs, mix it with additional flavoring, i.e. I have orange flavored into workout with orange squash to give it a bit more taste. 
250 grams of cooked weight jasmine rice because it's higher in carbs than like basmati rice it seems so that's pretty blessed with 130 grams of ham which is a bit dead and some health as soon as I finish eating that, go to the gym. That's going to be like a 30 minute drive. By the time I warm up, I'll be training in like 45 minutes. And then I'll record the training footage and we'll go from there. So yeah, that's the session done. So it's just basic back and biceps, nothing crazy. Obviously throughout the session, I would have drunk my 100 grams of intra workout carbs, which basically was just a liter of water alongside obviously additional water. So immediately after the finishing session, so now, I'll have a post-workout meal, which is basically just anything I can get, which is roughly 100 grams of carbs. Nothing particularly exciting, just a couple of bananas and a couple of crispy squares. Quite frankly, my appetite goes down the pan after training and it'll take me like half an hour to try and get these in. So from this, I'm gonna get home, which is gonna be like half an hour journey, then basically go straight to work. For those who aren't aware, I'm a self-employed personal trainer while doing my masters. It's pretty convenient, uh, I enjoy the hours because I'm self-employed, I can somewhat choose my own hours. I enjoy training with my clients, I get on very well with all of them, and it's just quite a social environment to be in for working, and I enjoy the people who work around me. So I'll do that, shoot home, grab my next meal, which will be meal four, and then I'll be back. So I don't think I've ever used so many angles in my life, to be honest. Anyway, so it's now like that time up there, eight o'clock at night. I haven't eaten since the post-workout meal, so quite a long time. Been to work, done all that, and now I'm eating some dead meal again. Dead meal number four of the evening, bear broccoli, kind of, uh, a small chicken breast, 125 grams, and bear dry pasta, not really bear, it's only 75 grams raw weight. Tell a lie, pasta's not dry, it's got a bit of flora on it, plant-based flora. As a whole, I guess like an update on the day is I don't really do a lot that's particularly exciting. Well, I wake up, I go to uni, I eat, I eat again, I go to the gym, I eat, I go to work, I eat again, I eat again, I go and I eat again, and I go to bed. That's literally what I do. Between the gaps of meals and uni or whatever, it would just be doing uni work or whatever work I have to do, or maybe towards the evening chilling, i.e. playing Xbox. It would have been crash team racing, but your boy's just 100% completed it in a week, so I need to sort my life out. How's dissertation prep coming? Yeah, man, sick. Playing Crash Team Racy every day. But like tonight, for example, I'm gonna do some more dish proposal work, which you'll probably see, and I'll probably play some Xbox, which you might probably not see, and then we'll see what happens from there, and then we'll eat again, and then we'll eat again, and then we'll go to bed in four hours and a half hours, five hours, some hours. Again, another angle. Um, obviously finished that meal because it wasn't particularly big, and I'm absolutely starving still. Shock. It's now quarter to nine at the night time. I'm going to eat again in like two hours, but because it was here, and because I have the macros, birthday cake. My coach may or may not be watching this, and if he is, I'm sorry, but if it fits my macros, could be worse, could be trend. I might do a day in the life in the future on the weekend, which will be like a rest day, for example, where my macros are different, no uni, no work, probably no, tra well, obviously no training if it's a rest day, and maybe some socialising. Who knows, it means I actually have to take the camera out of the house for more than 10 seconds. We'll see. I've come to the conclusion that my house is the least filmer friendly house in the world because the lighting is dreadful everywhere. I can't bother to get the light boxes out, move them to a new location every time. Nightmare. So we're not there. So it is now 11 o'clock in the PM. Probs, like final solid meal, which is a bit dead as per. So I've got greens, cabbage and stuff. And I've got two salmon fillets cooked in lemon juice because I watch Gordon Ramsay occasionally and it seems like something he would do. Or at least shout at me for doing, so probably worth doing. And 
275 grams of sweet potato. Absolutely butchered into poor wedges because I didn't hear the oven beep. Taste test. Mm. Dead. I think I just need to get more familiar and comfortable with actually filming more content than just sitting in front of a screen over and over again, which I know is going to take time, i.e. being more energetic throughout videos, actually be a bit more confident with the camera and taking it places rather than just kind of subtly filming training footage or like walking around uni on my phone. I think because quite frankly no one really cares if I'm filming much because I'm weird so they probably expect it. But that'll come in time, i.e. being a bit more diverse and creative with the angles, like I said, a bit more enthusiasm and energy. Probably doesn't help that I'm filming late at night as well, and I didn't get much sleep last night because I'm hella tired because I was up hella early and then go to bed till hella late. <sighs> Another angle. It's now midnight, so I ate like an hour ago, give or take. Haven't really done a lot since. I kind of sat watching YouTube and then suddenly an hour's passed. I was like, should probs have my final meal, which is liquid meal, which is pretty convenient because I'll yam this, go to bed at like half past midnight. This is basically what it is. So I have a protein shake with oats, uh, whey protein and creatine in, but initiating that, I'll have, I'll slap in 250 milliliters of semi-skimmed milk. I'm actually trying to get out of drinking milk at the moment. So I have oat milk occasionally, but I kind of like dabble between the two, like swap them out. I'm trying to reduce dairy consumption quite drastically. If anyone actually cares what brands I'm using, I'm using Optimum Nutrition Creatine. My protein, gluten-free instant oats. I think I bought gluten-free because it made me look cooler and healthier but in actual fact, they actually taste better, surprisingly. So I have 50 grams of the oats, followed by five grams of creatine every day without fail, and then a scoop of Optimum Nutrition Gold Standard Whey, because it's one of the few ways that actually doesn't make me feel too sick. For the additional health, B vitamin complex, D vitamin complex, multivitamin, vitamin C, B12 folic acid and iron, magnesium, digestive enzyme, probiotic kind of thing, and four grams of fish oil. But I don't actually track the fish oil in my macros because, so, sorry Dan. And that's pretty much my day. I think what I would like to do is in future videos, if I do make this a bit more of a regular thing, I say regular thing, if I do this more frequently than once every two years, I'd like to incorporate maybe more of like the behind the scenes of TFNL kind of stuff. So the editing of videos and everything else that goes into it. So I guess, yeah, that, that I guess you could say this is like a full day in the life of a master's student alongside a full day of eating, kind of like mixing both of them. If I were to do this more frequently, I'll try and actively eat different things throughout the day. So I'm not eating the same thing as I usually do-ish and actually maybe do things of worth, like activities. If you tolerated the video, I appreciate you tolerating the video. So if you managed to get this far, what you should have already done within seconds of clicking on the video is hit the like button. Because if you do that, bumps up things in the YouTube algorithm, YouTube more likely to push your videos, views go up, subs go up, production quality goes up, hit the roof, TFNL gets better. Like, comment, share, subscribe, let me know what you think. I know, boring, do more. I will. Of probs, definitely, maybe if you hang around, see you in the next video.